coming to you on, as a client. I've been bailed out technically once again. So. Um, I am uh, I'm the product manager of an organization called Crick's International, which is really a consortium um, that was founded by pharmaceutical companies. We were founded by Pfizer and Amgen, and uh, got funding from the Bardis, and we're actively speaking with uh, about 20 pharmaceutical companies. We also are working on a project with the FDA and the uh, National Cancer Institute, and um, you'd have to be um, kind of uh, avoiding to new the news to understand just how much pressure pharmaceutical companies are in right now to reduce the cost of developing drugs, which is estimated to be as high as $800 million for a drug, and they often fail, so that's a pretty risky, you, you probably do better going to Vegas than you would developing drugs. <laughs> And also, um, uh, most people don't realize, but a, a substantial amount of your tax money is spent on, on clinical research, specifically trying to cure cancer and, and, and try and um, test drugs that, that may not be commercially attractive. And that's an important part of what the National Cancer Institute, National Institutes of Health does. So Crick's was founded a few years ago um, to develop an independent collaboration capability that really was owned by no one but shared by everyone in this picture and and we have a very diverse audience we have commercial um, pharmaceutical companies which we call sponsors we have a whole range of um, service providers that they use in the industry um, everywhere from um, doing lab tests for them to doing project management um, we have a number of organizations that are required by federal or international law to review the status of clinical trials and make sure that, that patient safety is really being managed well. And, and so there's quite a diverse community of people. They all look at things differently. Some of them are commercially driven. Some of them are, are, are public. Um, and so we've kind of placed ourselves in the center of all of this. Um, one thing that we've, we've noticed is that Collaboration in the drug industry is, is not a luxury, it's required. Um, there is a lot of um, data and documents that fly back and forth every day on the internet, either via email or very expensive systems that are built. Um, Documentum is a very large uh, in, embedded um, uh, organization in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, there's a huge expense with supporting external partners. So pharmaceutical companies aren't much different than most companies. You know, there's a, a, an understood expense to supporting an employee. Employees go home at you know six or seven o'clock at night, and they don't call a help desk typically unless there's some sort of special arrangement. When you start working with physicians and hospitals, you know they start working at five or six at night after they're done with their patient regimen. So there's a whole different um, you know, animal and a whole different model to support there. Um, one of the biggest things we found uh, at, as critics is that we found a number of companies have invested a lot of money in building either SharePoint or Documentum solutions, and then it, they've then, then stopped dead in their tracks when they try and expose these externally because of the, the risks to the security model. And it's, it's very expensive. Um, uh, like I said, some of these proprietary content management systems are $1,500 a seat. So, you know, that's pretty expensive when you look at it. And then, most importantly, and one of the biggest drivers behind Crix's uh, support is that these are being done repeatedly by the top 20, top 100 pharmaceutical companies. They can each spend easily four or five million dollars on, on a project. And if you, if you calculate that total investment is that it's very substantial across our community. So um, a sh kind of a shameless plug um, with Rivet, when we got started, we, we recognized we wanted to build a portal environment. We wanted a, a flexible user experience. There's a lot of legacy applications out there that we knew we'd have to integrate with. Content management was definitely the bullseye of one of the key problems we wanted to solve. Um, pharmaceutical companies send a lot of documents out to doctors that they have to sign and complete and fill out and get back, and a lot of that has to happen before they can even start testing drugs and seeing patients. And that part of the drug testing process is extremely expensive. And if it slows down, it slows down the entire clinical trial. 
which can be hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, so we, we were looking at cutting costs in every way, including using open source technologies so that we wouldn't be spending money on software, we'd be spending money on innovation. And then we wanted to provide flexibility through collaboration tools, um, things like team management, document management, and domain-specific intelligence with business workflows and things like that. I am uh, going to flip to this next slide, and then after I give a brief overview of this, I'm going to turn it over to my my compadre here, Aladdin. Um, this is as far as we got. This is probably the first slide I ever showed when we engaged with Rivet. We knew basically what we wanted to do. Crix is a small organization that's largely made up of people like myself, which are business analysts and understand the research and development part of things within the pharmaceutical world. But there was a point in which you know we understood what we wanted to do technolog technologically and, and had done a lot of research on products out there but really needed the architectural help to try and bring things together. And um, so we developed this model and really pitched it into the community of pharmaceuticals. And they themselves have very sophisticated information technology organizations. So they understood this and they helped contribute to it. And then when we got Rivet involved, specifically our, the, the architecture side of it, they really helped us kind of round out this picture. So I'm going to turn it over to Aladdin. He can take it. 